All right, here we go. Official ballot enclosed, Ron Paul, baby, 2012. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the floating raft bed is just it's just overgrown. Uh, there, everything is just a it's just a huge mess with growth and just all this lettuce and stuff. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and get out of the experimentation phase of this bed, and we're actually gonna make or we're actually gonna get this bed uh, really working for us. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do, or the first thing you'll notice here, is that we're we're getting the yellow yeah, uh, the yellowing of the leaves. Um, this is because of a uh, iron deficiency uh, in the plant or in, in the plants because there's no. Uh, iron in the water. So uh, let me show you how we're going to remedy that. All right, so to help take care of the uh, the yellowing of the leaves uh, on the plants, uh, we went ahead and picked up some of this chelated liquid iron. Um, we're going to go ahead and put a couple tablespoons in the system of this and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so it says to use a couple tablespoons uh, for per gallon. Uh, we are dealing with over 55 gallons, but I don't really know how this is going to react with the aquaponic system. So I'm not going to overdo it too much, but I am going to put a, a couple tablespoons in. I think I'm going to call that good. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, just walk over here to the system and I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to the sump tank and we'll see what happens. now. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, uh, like I said, uh, for this this much water, but uh, if I don't notice a change in the yellowing of the leaves, uh, within a week or so, I'll go ahead and add a little more and I'll just, uh, you know, gradually add a little bit more until I find that, you know, the, the right amount uh, for this particular system. Okay, so like I said, our floating raft is just a mess right now. And the only reason those plants are still in the raft is to clean the water for the fish. Uh, otherwise, they would have been ripped out and uh, gone because I can almost, I almost can't stand to look at it anymore. But uh, what we're going to do is we went ahead and ordered some, uh, a, a, a couple of different kinds of lettuce and a culinary herb garden container uh, with a bunch of different thyme, oregano, dill, basil, parsley, cilantro, sage, and onion chives. So uh, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and put together a seed map here and uh, I'm going to plant a few of each and really start getting a rotation down in this floating raft. So we're harvesting lettuce uh, every week and, while also having uh, herbs ready for us uh, anytime we want. So that's gonna be the real goal of, of this indoor system uh, for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work out this seed map and get these uh, seeds started in these little pods and um, I'll be back with you. Well, this is what's left of her after uh, pulling it all down and uh, deciding what we're going to redesign the greenhouse. Uh, this, this was an excellent learning experience for us, uh, but we decided that a two pump system and our initial design was just too problematic. Uh, the tanks outside, it just got too cold for them. The heat exchanger did not work as expected. So uh, what we're gonna do is clear this place out uh, over the next couple of weeks, or in the, I should say the next few weeks. We're gonna go ahead and clear the greenhouse out. We're gonna clean it up real good. And we're gonna go ahead and put uh, a CHOP2 system in. Uh, the reason we're gonna do that is because the cost of materials that uh, we put in for this system initially, uh, was a, it was a lot more than we had anticipated. Uh, just with the liner, the lumber, and really just our time. And we put a lot of time into this also. It was just, it was too much. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, take apart some of these totes and build a chop two system. Uh, I think it will, or I know it will be easier to maintain and the maintenance on it, uh, it, it it's just it's just gonna be an all around cheaper project with uh, relatively the same amount of growth space. So what I imagine here is two grow beds, a fish tank, one more grow bed, and then we'll have our duckweed uh, beds that we'll add to um, based on the floating raft system on the inside minus the raft part. So uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on uh, what's going on with the greenhouse. It's I know it's sad, but uh, it had to be done. 
So you might not recognize these, but these are actually, this is actually the floating raft uh, from, the in, from the greenhouse. We just went ahead and converted it to a uh, raised grow bed. And this was the back bed. Uh, there's nothing planted in it yet, but I will be doing that today. But I just wanted to kind of show you what's up with the, uh, the outdoor garden real quick. Uh, these tomatoes uh, actually came up on their own, so I'm just kind of letting them do what they're going to do. And as soon as they start getting too out of control, I'll clip back and just keep the dominance. Uh, this, the artichoke's doing great. Getting to, uh, I think it's like, last time I counted, there was uh, eight of them on this plant. So that's doing good. These are my green onions. I don't really know how green onions, um, or what they do once they've reached the end of their life cycle. I'm kind of expecting some seed, but I don't know for sure, so I'm kind of just watching that and seeing what's happened. Lettuce bed, lettuce comes up every year, uh, but we're not too fond of this particular uh, uh, species of lettuce, so I'm just letting it go to seed and I'll collect it and pull it out. These are my onions, and they're doing good. I water them every day, and uh, these are the only things I'm really concerned about in this bed. And then, finally, the corn. Uh, I, the corn did great last year. We only had a couple stalks. I went ahead and planted, uh, I think there was, uh, what 18 or so 15 stalks of corn uh, in here so uh, that's that's gonna be fun uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the hops so in the last video you saw me just putting the rhizomes in, into these pots and I went ahead and trained the uh, the dominant uh, growth uh, from those rhizomes and now you can see that these hops are just going crazy this one is a, probably about eight feet tall now and uh, it's done It's done most of its growth in probably in the last week and a half. It's these things, I, I can't believe how fast they grow. Uh, so we got, I went ahead and just put it up to the awning of the, ho the house, uh, just using some twine and just training them to, to grow up. So I just wanted to give you a look at that. And uh, as these continue to grow and mature, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video series on collecting the hops and probably storing them, um, freezing them or whatever, so. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I didn't uh, include the me planting the pods of the lettuce for the floating raft because it was really boring and I didn't want to put it in the video. So, uh, but I did want to go ahead and close on this that uh, I'm getting a lot of emails and um, uh, questions on, uh, on, my, on the YouTube page under, under the comment section of, of a, lot of, uh, a lot of questions about aquaponics. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is uh, I want you to send your, e your emails to hdaquaponics at gmail.com and I'm gonna go ahead and answer those uh, directly on the show and we'll kind of do a segment uh, specifically for uh, those questions. So I think that'll be a good way to kind of answer the, um, the, the, the questions that I get most often, which you know that, that seems to be the case. So anyway, uh, please come to the Facebook page, uh, facebook.com uh, slash hdaquaponics. Um, like I said, email your questions at hdaquaponics at gmail.com and uh, subscribe, rate on the, uh, the YouTube page. Uh, go to our website and you can sign up for the uh, email newsletter. Uh, that hasn't been too active yet because I, I'm just now getting back into the aquaponics thing uh, after the semester's winding down. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.